In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, 
beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then too you will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank 
Christians praise the Paschal Victim, offer thankful sacrifice. Christ the Lamb has saved the sheep, Christ the Just One paid the price, reconciling sinners to the Father. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. 
They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning to all of you. I truly mean that. Good morning. We all have a, we have a good Friday, which changed every Friday. And we have a good morning. This Easter Sunday morning, which changed every Sunday forever. And in a real sense, every morning when we wake up, no matter what's been going on, even if we're got some tension in our family, we still say good morning. May that be a re daily reminder of this Easter morning when Jesus rose from the dead. And just as the rising sun each morning reminds us of the resurrection, not only of Jesus, but our own that is to come, may each morning when we awake, we greet it and greet others with a good morning as a profession of our belief that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. These have been odd days, huh? My homilies, during my homilies, you can hear a pin drop. I'd much rather that it would be filled with crying babies. I don't like having it that quiet <laughs> during my homily. Uh, but I miss you. I miss you. Uh, so know of my prayers and pray for me as well. A little story to get us started on this sun, Easter Sunday. A man was lost while driving through the country. As he tried to read a map, he accidentally drove off the road into a ditch. Though he wasn't injured, his car was stuck deep in the mud. So the man walked to a nearby farm to ask for help. Warwick can get you out of that ditch, said the farmer, pointing to an old mule standing in a field. The man looked at the old mule and looked at the farmer, who just stood there repeating, yep, old war work, he can get the job done. The man figured he had nothing to lose. The two men and Warwick made their way back to the ditch. The farmer hitched the mule to the car. With a snap of the reins, he shouted, pull Kevin, pull Mark, pull Ned pull Warwick and the mule pulled the car from the ditch with very little effort the man was amazed he thanked the farmer patted the mule and asked why did you call out all those other names before you called Warwick the farmer grinned and said old Warwick is just about blind as long as he believes he's part of a team he doesn't mind pulling Those mules were pretty good. I better stick with calling them mules, huh? <laughs> Dear people, when we believe we are alone, we can't do much. But when we believe we are not alone, that others are with us, most especially that God is with us, we can do amazing things. 
dear people of God, you are not alone. Jesus Christ is truly risen from the dead. He is with you. He is on your side, your team. Do not live your life as if you are abandoned. You are not abandoned. You are never alone. We have a God who loves us, a God that death cannot destroy. Love has triumphed for us. It is dawn, not darkness. It is victory, not death. It is love, not sin. We are never alone. We shout, he is risen. And God, in a sense, huh? he shouts back. Now you will not die forever. We are on this journey through life together. Whatever comes. We are a people and not just a person. We are saved and set free because we are united with Jesus Christ. He is alive, active, always. So the next time you get down on yourself, allow your faith to rise up within you and shout out loud if you have to. He is risen. He is alive. He is my God. Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, is on our side. He can get us out of any mud or any virus. Shout his name and pull. You are not alone. And good morning. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. I ask you to... Respond, I do. So I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. You believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, and rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. On this, the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad as we offer our prayers to God who raised Jesus from the dead.
that the Church of God gathered this Easter day will be renewed in the covenant made on the day of their baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Francis, our Pope, and Austin Anthony, our Bishop, and for all who minister in the Church, that they may proclaim with courage and conviction the good news of Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that all nations, in a spirit of cooperation, will find a cure for the coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all of our loved ones who are preparing to receive the sacraments of the Church, that the Holy Spirit will strengthen them and be with them during this time of anticipation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have chronic illnesses, for those who suffer from the coronavirus, and for those who are feeling isolated or abandoned, that the divine physician may give them comfort and healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased sisters and brothers, and for those who have died during the pandemic, may they be welcomed into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, your Son is risen from the dead and gives us hope in our own resurrection on the last day. Hear our prayers, which we make through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exalt with paschal gladness, O Lord. We offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. In Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy O lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son 
and filled with his Holy Spirit, we become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Helena, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of your body and blood. I love you and desire to receive you. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. That didn't work well. Try it again. I want to wish you all a happy Easter, a good morning uh, to your family and friends, to all your loved ones. Maybe you listen to Jesus when he told Mary and Magdalene and Peter and John, go to Galilee. This is for Palm Sunday. We went to Jerusalem. I encourage us now, over these next weeks in our daily prayer, go to Galilee. There we will see him. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life and the resurrection of his only begotten, endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. 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 Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God's blessing come upon all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.